In this video, we are asked to find, or rather we are asked to form a differential equation using this very equation. So how can we form that equation? The first one we are going to ask ourselves is, how many constants are here? We have A and what? B. So if we have A and B, what would I do? It means I need a differential equation whose order is what? 2. Whose order is 2. So right about now, let us differentiate twice because that's the only way to get a differential expression with order 2. Okay, let us start. Dy dx, what will this give to me? Dy dx here will give me, differentiate this power, what do you get? Minus 4. Then times it by a, this will give us minus 4e to minus 4x. What will this give to me? Minus 6be to minus 6x. Yes. Now, when you're giving something like this, when you're giving a format, that is why I'm doing different formats. When you're giving something of this very format, the first thing you're going to do is to make sure that we can eliminate our e to the power of minus 4x. Or, okay, let me just calm down. Let us proceed. Differentiate this again. What would it be getting? d squared y by ds squared is equal. What would this give to us? This will give us 16e to negative 4x plus 36b e to negative 6x. How did I get the plus 36? Differentiate minus 6, you will get minus 6. Minus 6 times this minus 6 will give us plus 36. So that was how I got that very expression. Now, how do we solve for this question? Because right now, by definition, hold on, I did not put my a. I was supposed to have an A here. Okay, I've put them. So, how do we solve for this? Because by definition, there should be no A, neither should there be a B. So, this is what we're going to do here. Because in this case, it's not easy for us to make subject of the formula. It's not easy to make subject of formula. So, this is what we're going to do. These two equations, these two equations, I want to solve them. If I pick these two guys, listen attentively. If I should pick these two guys, this one here has a minus 4 in front of the e. This is minus 4 in front of the e. I also want to make this guy have a minus 4 or at least have a 4. So I'm going to say, let me call this equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So I'll say from equation 1, from equation 1, I want to times equation 1 by 4. So this then become 4y equal 4e e to negative 4x plus 4b e to negative 6x. Okay, now what is my equation 2? I just want to write down my equation 2 here. So this is dy dx equal, what would this become? Minus 4a e to minus 4x minus 6b e to minus 6x. Now, what am I going to do here? How do I eliminate these two guys? If I want to eliminate these two guys, I simply have to add both equations. Because if I say this plus this, I'm going to get zero. So let us add both equations. This will become dy dx plus 4y equal. This guy is gone. So let us add these two guys. What are we going to be getting? This will become minus 2be to minus 6x. That's what we're simply going to be having. So this expression should become equation 4, if you wish. If you wish, that will become equation what? 4. Now let us move ahead and let us proceed to see what this is going to be looking like. Now, these two equations, these two, remember what we have been doing? We are trying to eliminate A. So can I eliminate A here? Yes. With these two equations, equation 2 and equation 3, how would I eliminate A? Now, Equation 3 has 16 for the A. How would I make this very one also have a 16? I have to times it by 4 again. So I'll say from equation 2, from equation 2, can we times here by 4? Yes. This will become 4 dy dx equal, this times will give me minus 16ae to minus 4x minus 4 times this will give me what? 24b to the e minus 6x. That's what we're going to be having. Now, for 
um let me not say for proficiency if i know the meaning of that we're going to put this guy below it because this is what what i'm trying to remove i'm trying to eliminate this guy so i'll just put the squared y over the s squared equals 16 ae so minus 4x plus 36 be so negative 6x now since i'm trying to eliminate that how would i eliminate these two guys i will simply add them up because by addition these two would subtract themselves and go away so that means we're going to be having d squared y over the s squared plus 4 dy dx because if i add them together this plus minus this will give me zero so this guy is gone now if i should say this plus this what am i going to be having i'm going to be having 36 minus 24 should be giving me what 12. am i correct it looks like so that will give me 12 b e to negative 6 x so that's 12 that will give me 12. now this equation let me call it equation what five okay and we're close we're close if you look at your equation four and look at your equation five they are kind of having same constant look at this i have 12 b e to negative 6 s i have minus 2 b e to negative 6 x so what would i do to make life easy for me this is equation four right what would i do to make life easy for me the number here is 12 right the number here is what 12. can i times here by six because for you times here by six two times six will give me what 12. So let me times that please by six this will give me six dy dx plus six times four will give me 24 y sorry equal six times this will give me minus 12 b e to negative 6x so this should become equation six and if you look at this if i plus these two equations i will get zero so let us add the two equations together so i'm going to say d squared y over ds squared plus 4 dy dx plus 6 dy dx plus 24y is equal to zero because i should add these two guys together i'm simply going to be getting what zero so this will then become d squared y over ds squared plus what this gives to me this is 10 dy dx plus 24y equal to what zero so that will become the differential equation which will give you this very answer now as you can see um i don't think i wanted to do this there's another way to do this you will learn that in the future videos so but for the now that is all that we have for the now that is all that we have so can i proceed yes i can proceed remember to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it across to your course mates.